for 12 years a slave. Will Brad Pitt be the first person, do you think? My mum, of course. What do you think? <laughs> Not Brad, no. My mum. <laughs> okay. Steve, did you ever imagine this movie was going to be such a success? I mean... No, no, not at all. I mean, I think, you know, you you make something with the hope, of course, but we never dreamt of this kind of sort of attention. We're just very, very pleased. No, we're very honoured. It's incredible, because if we were at the Oscars, it's, it could be, you know, sweeping up all the awards. It's been amazing. Could happen. It might not happen. But the, the fact that we're sort of having that, having that debate is wonderful. Thank you. It's a real uh, epic feeling to 12 Years a Slave, and yet it feels so intimate at the same time. How did you manage to, to kind of to, to, to do that? Well, I think it was about the people. The scale of the landscape is epic. It's an American landscape. And the intimacy comes from the actors who kind of, you know, produce the kind of performances that you saw. Steve, can I ask you, watching the film, that the landscapes were, were, were stunning and beautiful, but yet there was so much ugliness within the country. Was that something that you wanted to show in the contrast? Yeah, I think that, I mean, it's kind of all, I mean, I, I said it before, you know, the most horrific things happen in the most beautiful places. Um, and that's how it is. I mean, you know, it's a... Uh, there's a little bit of amnesia as far as uh, slavery is concerned. And it's, what, what, one, what, sorry, what one wanted to do was to sort of you know, give it a platform, give it, put it on a plinth for people to look at, and in a way to sort of examine where we are now, where we've come from, and where we could possibly be in the future. It's had such an emotional response. Did you expect that? Is that what you were looking for the whole time? No, I'm happy. I'm happy human beings are still connected to their hearts. I mean, that's great. Um, and it's Solomon's story. So, you know, it's his first hand account of his. Uh, survival during slavery for 12 years. Don't forget, millions of people didn't survive it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm just grateful for people who responded in such a way.